Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the 24 hour market maker cycle. So if you're a day trader or you want to start day trading, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you're new to this channel, please hit the like button, subscribe and engage with us in the comment section. And if you're done watching this video, you can check out my other videos and you can also subscribe to my telegram channel. In that channel, I share signals and setups. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Hello guys, I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are safe. And yeah, as I said in the intro, today we're gonna to be talking about the different trading sessions. So the 24 hour market cycle. Why do we call it a cycle? Because it happens almost every day. So this is most common, or this is common, this is common actually with USD pairs, um, Euro cross pairs and GDP cross pairs. But these are the main pairs that you will find this sort of pattern. So what's this pattern that I'm talking about? I'm talking about the range, manipulation, and distribution. Let me write that down. It's called the AMD. So it's the accumulation manipulation and distribution, right? And now we're gonna be breaking down every session. And I'm gonna be talking about what happens in every session. So let's start by explaining what happens during the Asian session. So the, the times that I've listed here are according to South African time. So if you're from outside South Africa, do make the adjustment according to your time zone. So during the Asian session, especially if you're trading these pairs, you'll find that there's low liquidity, right? Oftentimes the market will be arranging. Right? The market will be ranging and trapped with between a high and a low. Right? From midnight to 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. Now you're gonna get a breakout from that consolidation during the London session, which opens at 10 a.m. and closes at 6 p.m. So during this, so we have completed our accumulation. Now, during the London session, we are experiencing manipulation of the market. So from 10 a.m. to 6 a.m., you're gonna get a breakout from this consolidation. And the market is going to go opposite of the true direction of the day, also taking liquidity from retail traders. What do I mean by this? The market will break out from this consolidation and pretend as if it's going to continue to the upside for that day. Whereas in actual fact, when it's doing this, it's taking liquidity or it's chasing stop hands from retail traders. So for example, from the people who were buying and selling from this range, right? It's going to print a breakout that's going to take out the stop losses of the people who were placing sell orders at this area right now some people are going to think that okay this means that now that we've taken the stop losses from these people the market's going to continue up but nah that's not what happens what happens is it goes opposite the direction of the true oh it goes opposite the true direction of the day so what happens most of the time is we get this movement over here so We've spoken about accumulation, which happens during the Asian session. We've talked about manipulation, which happens during the London session. Now let's talk about distribution, which happens during the New York session, right? So let's go back to the London session. After we experience that manipulation, we are going to get the high 
and low of the day. From the high and low of the day, that's when you're going to get your peak formations, right? And then you're going to get an impulse from the London session. And this is when, when you get to the New York session, you get that um, movement. So during the overlap of the New York and the London session, because the London session starts at 10, ends at 6 p.m. So this ends at 11 and starts at 3. So between 3 and 6, this is when you're going to get the overlap, right? So majority of the liquidity for the day, most uh, the time that most traders are active will be during this overlap. This is normally when you get most of the economic news report, right? So this is when you're gonna get your strong movement to the downside, for example. Now, after that strong movement, uh, sometimes it happens that after 6 p.m., you will get a replacement and then you'll get a consolidation and the process starts all over again and again and again and again and again. So that's what I need you guys to know for today. The 24-hour market cycle. This happens every day on average. I hope you guys have taken notes, right? Now we're going to go to the charts and see what's actually happening on the chart. Uh, let me just do this real quick. Now we're back and we are looking at EURUSD on the 15 minute chart. So as you can see right here, we have this consolidation, manipulation, and then distribution, right? Um, what happens normally after distribution is that after the overlap, between 3 and 6 a, um, six p.m., you get a short-term replacement, right? That often leads into a consolidation. So the first thing you need to do is go to your keyboard and press Control Y, and then that will that way you will find your period separators, right? So for example, if we look at this day, we had this consolidation over here, the market went, and then there was manipulation with the spike then the market went down. We had this consolidation over here, the market manipulated and went to the downside. After creating a low for the day, the market went up. We have this consolidation over here where the market started with the range and the range, and then we have this manipulation over here. And then the distribution phase, the market went up. We have this consolidation over here, manipulation, the market went up. After creating a high for that day, like I said, the high of the day is either found during the London and the New York session, most of the time before the overlapping session or during the overlapping session, right? Now, after finding the high of the day, the market went down, right? So we had this consolidation, manipulation, and then the market went up. So this is a recurring theme. Obviously, it will not act according to the textbook formations every day, it's just a matter of you knowing what to look for on a particular day, right? I'll be in the next couple of videos, I'll be showing you exactly how we find these areas or how to find opportunities using this method, right? But then for now, that's all. In the other videos, I'll be talking about liquidity and order blocks, and we'll be getting into detail um, with regards to supply and demand trading. So for now, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and be sure to send me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. Thank you guys for tuning in. Till we meet again, peace.